live from the kitchen. We are going to make apple fritters. Yes, I said yummy apple fritters. We are going to start by mixing up a little bit of um, glaze. We're going to then mix up a batter, chop up some apples, and get them to fry. I've got my oil over there preheating on a low temperature. So right now I've got about a cup of um, powdered sugar in here. I've already added a teaspoon of vanilla to it. And now I'm going to put in about two tablespoons of milk. Now this is half and half, but you don't have to use half and half. You can use water, milk, whatever you got. It'll work. And I may need to add a little bit more. We'll see. Looking good. That's good stuff. Yep. It'll be good on our fritters. It's just barely too thick for my liking. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit more vanilla instead of milk. Mix it up. Now that's ready for our fritters. We can glaze them with this. And if you want it more pourable, you can add just a little bit more milk. But it's going to melt on them while they're hot. Alright, so we're going to sit this over here on our pan that we'll drain them on. And we're going to mix this up a batter. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a dash of salt. One egg. Now, let me tell y'all where I'm getting this recipe. This is an old recipe. This is a 1927 cookbook. Apple fritters. She tells you how to make banana fritters, how to make the batter, and this, and then there's corn fritters at the bottom. This is a first edition of Good Housekeeping. And it's in kind of want to fall apart a little bit. And they found me this at a thrift store. All right, so you got your egg beat up with a little bit of salt. We are going to add one and one half teaspoons of bacon powder, a third cup of milk, you to sift it and I didn't. Um, and then you're going to have a cup, I believe, of flour. This is all purpose. That's why we add the bacon powder. And of course we're using our white lily flour today. This is our batter for our fritters. That's all there is to it. Alright, so there's our fritter batter. Now we're going to chop us up an apple. Simple dimple, y'all. You can come over there on that side? Yeah, that'd be good. It goes fast because we're frying something. These are Honeycrisp apples. Just as long as you use a good tart apple. I like Golden Delicious Honeycrisp. Uh, Gala's good. I mean, really just about all apples are good, but I will say that a gold, uh, a red delicious is terrible to bake with. Mm. Uh, Those are the ones that get all mushy, right? Well, they just aren't sweet at all, and they don't have oh. much flavor. They're just yeah. very bland mm. when they're cooked. So, a golden delicious is really good. It's tart and sweet. Honeycrisp, Gala, Ambrosia, they're all favorites of mine. And no, I don't like go uh, the what do you call it the green ones? Granny Smith. The Granny Smith is sour, but it's not sweet enough. So you have to pair it with a sweet apple to really get it to be delicious. So I'd re I'd just rather use one of these good kind. The 
these were on sale. We got these at Sam's Club, didn't we, Chris? Yeah, we did. So we didn't have to pay too much for them. Yep. So we're going to chop this up real quick. They're big, pretty apples, too, aren't they? Yeah. Now, lots of times when you get an apple fritter at the store, what's missing the most? Fritter. The apple. Apple. They don't ever put enough in it. Mm-hmm. It's just a bunch of dough, mm -hmm. for the most part. So today, since we're making our own apple fritters, we'll make sure. All we want. And get plenty of apple. Mm -hmm. In our fritter. Really, I could have got by with one. Yeah, they're big apples. Yes, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess we're going to have to eat one, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Apples are good for you. And if you've never had one of those apples, they're really sweet. They're good. And tart. They're delicious. Yes. They're one of the best. That's why they cost so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could probably get by. Let's see what they tell you to do. She tells you two medium apples. Do like one and a half. I bet that'd be better. Yeah. It's Monday. Do y'all feel like it? Mm -hmm. We are having a great day, aren't we, Dad? I am. Hope y'all are. And if you're not, maybe you'll start. Now tell us where you're from and how long you've been watching CBC. Mm -hmm. That'd be good to know. Yeah. How tell long? us where you're from and how long you've been watching Collar Valley Cooks. If you're new, Welcome, and hit that subscribe and follow button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Facebook. We're going to be live on both platforms tonight at the same time. So, you should both be able to see us all at the same time tonight. Looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. Now, this says, peel and core your apples, cut in slices, add to the batter, Drop it by spoonfuls and fry it in a deep fat. Then you roll it in powdered sugar. But instead of rolling it in powdered sugar, we're going to put um, glaze glaze on it. So let's get the apples over here in this bowl. Oh, so you just mix it right in with the yeah. batter. What about that? Okay. And then, then you just drop it. Mm -hmm. by spoonfuls hmm. so we're going to mix this up now this is an old recipe old as the hell from 1924 it's a good housekeeping's first cookbook ever is it 27 or 24? 27 Okay. and uh, we're going to see how it turns out Okay. I'm ready I know you're ready Chris likes how fritters don't you baby now, we're going to see how hot this oil is, because I've just had it on over here for a little while. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn it up, because it's probably not that hot, I wouldn't think. I'm going to put a test piece in it. We're going to have to let it get pretty hot, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's not hot enough. All right. So, while that's getting hot, I'm going to wash my hands, and we will bring our tray over here. Yep, I've already promised one of our neighbors some apple fritters. She she's can't wait. Promises. She says she's ready. All right, I'm going to add, I am going to add a little bit of milk to this because it is too thick. You want it to be pretty thin for fritters or donuts. So we'll mix this up while we're waiting on that oil to get good and hot. We can show them those lemons she gave us. Yeah. We can. Our neighbor gave us lemons. I told Chris, I want to get me a, I don't have just an old ice tray because I want to squeeze these lemons. And uh, just come in here, Chris. Um, he just went and got these. Look how big they are. And they have so much juice in them, and I want to get an ice tray 
and squeeze them and um, freeze them in those little ice cubes and then put them in a bag and freeze them. And that way when I need them, I can just grab a block mm -hmm. of it out of there. Okay, smart. All right, here we go. I hear it popping. It's getting warm. Let's flip this and just see if it's brown at all. Like a little apple hush puppy, isn't it? Well, it's not a hush puppy. It's more like a donut. Mm -hmm. It's not quite hot as I want it, but it's really close. Really, it's probably hot enough because you want it to get done. What kind of uh, oil is that? Is it like it's corn oil. Okay. The only thing I ever use right. for the most part. All right, so I'm going to scoop this out and put this in there. Now, these are just homemade apple fritters, so they're not going to look like the ones you see at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Theirs... They roll out a little bit, put a little bit more flour in, and flatten them out a little bit. So ours are going to be more rounded. Now, did they fry theirs too, or do they? Have oh yeah, they baked? fry them. Okay. Oh, for some reason, I always thought they were baked. Oh no, our hmm. fritters are fried like a donut. Yeah. Fried like a donut. I think I can get one more in there. What do you think? So we're going to let these get brown. See this one right here is our test piece. Mm -hmm. And it's browning. You don't want to flip for me. There he goes. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take them a minute or two. But you want it to take a minute or two. I don't have a temperature on this oil. Do like I did. Put your little test piece in there. Once it starts floating up to the top and, and moving around good, then you know it's hot. All right? Um... So I don't have a thermometer on it or anything. We're just going to fry them up. Now, you do want it to take a few minutes, and it's going to take a little longer on our stove because it's gas. But you want it to take a few minutes so that it gets that dough good and done. You don't want to open your fritter and have raw dough in it. All right? So it's good that it's going to sit in there for a little bit and get nice and brown. Hmm. You want to watch them. They rose up pretty. That, yeah. Uh, has really done a good job. Chris, I think you're shading them just a little bit. Well, no, now you are. You're doing good. I don't know what I'm talking about, do I? We're just going to do this one batch with y'all on here, okay? Because I've really just got enough for a couple more. And we're going to taste them. We're going to glaze them. And see if they're good. I'm going to have to make me some coffee. It's kind of good. It don't make too many, then. Yeah, it? it is. Just right. You if you don't have a whole house full of people. Turned over to it once. Yeah, it is. Let's go. These apple fritters have really got apples in them. You can see the little humps. Mm -hmm. Lumpy dumps. Oh, that's the apples. So you want to cook them in it. You, get, you know, apple fritters are usually pretty brown when you buy them. Let's show them this cookbook one more time. Good meals and how to prepare them. You can get them on eBay, and sometimes you can get them on Amazon. Um, this one, it's from the Depression era, and uh, the date in it, first edition, printed in the USA. Copyrights 1927 by the National International Magazine Company. And what I've found, there's a lot of um, recipes in here uh, that have parts of the cow that we don't normally eat. There's a lot of really different things in here that we don't eat a lot of now in, 2000, in the 2020s compared to the 1920s. Now, I'm going to flip these and let them continue to cook on that other side a little bit longer because I want them to get nice and brown. I want to make sure they're good and done. They're really frying up pretty. 
And this is really all we're doing. You want to take that little one out? We can taste it. Well, we won't be able to really taste what it's like because it doesn't have apples in it, does it? No. Nope. And, you know, I didn't put cinnamon or anything in them. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you want cinnamon, of course you could add it. But I don't think they put cinnamon in them, do they, Chris, at the store? I've don't. never tasted cinnamon yeah. in an apple fritter. I don't think they have them. So, you could put cinnamon sugar on it because it's yeah, fried it and it'd stick on there. If you really love cinnamon. Yeah. We could, we'll do one like that. I'll go get my cinnamon sugar. And uh, we'll do one like that. Can you flip over for me, buddy? I think they're pretty close to being done. I'm going to go get my cinnamon sugar. Look good. And we're going to get them out. Some of them are fat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fluffy. Fluffy. That was a half teaspoon of baking soda did the trick. Didn't it sure it? did. So I'm gonna grab my cinnamon sugar and we'll put cinnamon sugar on one of them. Now they or could the just uh, use self rising flour, couldn't they? If they wanted to use it. Yeah, they can. Mm -hmm. Of course, you want to use your white lily, mm -hmm. don't you? All right, y'all ready to get them out of here? Yep. Let's do it. You think they're done on the middle? We could test one. We're not sure. I guess I could take one out and cut it. Mm -hmm. Like these big fat ones might take a little longer. You know? Yeah. Let's take this one out. Okay. Mm, that's pretty. And this little flat, flatter one. Mm -hmm. I'll take out the ones that are flatter. Well, I think they're flatter. Let's just cut one. Yeah, let's see. See what it looks like. Why not? Before we take them all out. In the interest of science. We've not made these before. Mm -hmm. Homemade. Have we, dear? Nope. Well, it's done. Let's get them out of there. It's done. Nope. Now, y'all can make them thinner if you want to. Mm -hmm. And you could do that. You could just put a little flour on the counter and maybe just, you know, mold them a little bit. But we are just doing some old fashioned fritters. You could do corn fritters, banana fritters, different kinds of fruit. Let's turn off this oil. Now while they're good and hot, you gotta glaze them. And they are hot. So let's pour some glaze over them. What makes them good, right? Mm -hmm. That smells pretty good. It does, don't it? Wish y'all could smell it. I guess you could drop. You know, I'm going by their recipe, but I think mm -hmm. if I ever make them again, I'm going to drop a little butter in the oil. Mm -hmm. Give them a little buttery flavor. These look pretty, don't they? But they're pretty good anyway. But they are too. And my little baby one. All right. Cinnamon on. You want to do it on the one we sprayed? I mean, opened? Yeah. All right. So that's what it looks like with the cinnamon sugar on it. Good. Did you do a real good picture for them? We want to get a thumbnail out of the video since it's live. You got to clip it out later. Woo! Don't that look good? All right, let's give it a taste. I want to talk, try this one. It's so pretty, ain't it? So pretty. I'll open it up. You can see the apple in it. Crunchy. Mmm. That's good. Really good. Mm, the texture's real spongy like. Really? Uh-huh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Really good. 
But, I think I like the cinnamon even better because I think it needs a little bit more of a kick. Yeah. <laughs> y'all um the cinnamon's really good on it they're not as pretty but they taste better could you put it cinnamon like just in with the apples. dough or would it no you could you do could. that too okay and that way it wouldn't mess up your blaze mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you want to taste them before we sign off mm -hmm. no that's okay okay Cooks, where we cook, like Mama did.